Hello there YouTube, and welcome to a guide from Bad Company Sarge on how to earn a ton of Mirian really easy in Middle-earth Shadow of War. What you're gonna want to do is get to the fight pits. Now this won't unlock until I believe you've got past your first fortress, but honestly that doesn't take too long, the first fortress fight is a fairly easy one. And what you want to do is just find yourself a fight pit arena, there will be tons of these once you've unlocked all the various re regions and select a follower, and all you need for this is literally a follower to go in the fight pits. So here, let's throw in my bodyguard, Frack, and have him fight quickly. Now these fights typically take a minute to a minute and a half, including this whole introduction thing, but they can last slightly over three minutes. Technically. I've never actually seen it happen. So what we'll have here, you'll see my character, or well, my guy, is way stronger than his. So it's just going to be a nice, easy fight. Well, should be anyway, if my guy can actually hit rather than just taunting constantly. Alright, he's off for Karagor. Come on, Frack. Pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing. Alright, Karagor's going for him. That'll be fine. As soon as Frack actually decides to fight... Come on. Come on. Oh. It's typical that my demonstration fight takes longer than most do. Here we go. We'll start landing attacks in, and you'll see this guy's going to go down nice and quickly. Come on. Here we are. Yep. Just takes a few hits, and bosh. So that was, if anything, a slightly longer fight than normal. They often go much faster than that. And you'll see there, gear! I've immediately got some gear. And from that, go into the inventory. We see this little symbol here telling me there's a new bit of gear. And look at that, I just got a sword. Now, if I hold down 3 on my keyboard, I can destroy it for Mirian. And I get 290 off of it. And that's how I've got 108,473. Because that was... Two minutes? To do that, and that was a slightly long fight, and that was just off of a basic orc. You'll see we've got another fight over here. That was the maggots one. This one is fight pit warriors, which the first time you do it will give you thousands of Mirians straight away. You don't get that every time, unfortunately. And one sec, I'll go back quickly and show you. This person here is legendary, so he's going to drop some really good loot. But he's also quite strong, so you might take a bit more to to kill him. But if we throw in same guy again, Frack, see how he does. Because my character's a lot higher level, which does make these fights quite heavily in his favour. So, back into the fight pits. Nice and simply. And you'll see that my character's taking barely any damage just because he is such a higher level. Whilst his character is already getting knocked about a little bit. Despite not having my guy already go after him. Come on. There we go, now he's off his Karagor. This should be a nice simple task. Yep. Just start throwing spears into him and... No, ignore the Karagor. Alright, he is a legendary difficulty person, so this fight is slightly tougher on my guy. However, it's now 1v1. Hopefully, this will all go fairly nicely. Alright. Yep, damage starts getting dealt. Yeah, if your guy or the other guy has followers or a Karagor or Ologs or anything like that, the fights typically take a tiny bit longer than they normally would. But now we should have a killing blow. There we are. Yep, my guy's just gonna... Oh, tear his head off or... Explode his head. Yeah, the fight pits are quite fun as well. <laughs> Some really enjoyable bits of carnage you can get into. But now that he's dead, we get some legendary gear. Which is an additional bonus to all of this. Which now I'll go into my cloak. And I have... A uh, level 58 legendary, Raider's Cloak, which I could destroy for 985 Mirian. 
And that was once again a couple of minutes to do that. However, this bit I'm probably going to keep for now, just because I tend to keep all my legendaries. You may be thinking though, what happens if my follower dies? Well now we're going to try and make that happen. Okay, level 31, let's go over to the other fight pit bit. There should be... Yeah, over this way, fight pit champion, which should have a tougher fight on it. Okay, let's... Yep, jump over here. Head over to Fight Pit Champions. And level 41 Mystic Slayer. Okay, let's try and put someone really terrible up against him. Level 26. Yep, that's my lowest person. Let's see if we can get my follower killed to show what happens in that scenario as well. So here's the level 41 Slayer against my level 26 Marauder Marksman. It should hopefully get my follower killed, although this isn't 100% guaranteed. I have seen sometimes low followers somehow claw back a victory when they have no right to do so. And with Marauder Marksman, that little stagger thing they have there, if they keep their enemies at range, they are very good at doing this. Come on, other person. Stop being staggered. Oh, I might win. <laughs> it's one of the few times I don't want to win in a fight pit. However, uh, yep. He's getting... No, getting close. Come on, game. That's it. Throw another spear. Perfect. Now, you'll see my guy goes down. And once again, only took about a minute to get through that fight, if that. And I get some gear off of it. Even when your own followers die, you get gear which you can break down. Now, depending on if your followers are epic or legendary, you're guaranteed to get higher level gear... I believe, I'm like 99% sure on that, but even basic followers like this, 193 million for about a minute's worth of time. And that all adds up. This, from what I found in like almost 60 hours worth of playing, is the best way you can possibly farm Mirian. In addition, once someone wins in the fight pits against your own guy, you can then head down and take them as your own person. So they will be in the fight pits. Which means you can just fight against them. So... Chop this guy up. Slash, 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 slash. Okay, I actually killed him. I was going to dominate him, but... Oh well. And this means we get his gear as well. So go into the inventory and look at that 197 extra Mirian from someone who was already wounded, because they don't heal after the fight, so you've got then an easy captain you can take down if you want, or who you can quite often just straight away dominate. So that was my guide on how to get Mirian fast and easy. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, hit the like button. If you want to see more Shadow of War content, and I've got builds, guides, I'll be doing challenge runs in the future, so subscribe to the channel, and comment below with anything else you would like to see. I've been Bad Company Sarge, and thank you for watching.